Hey, what's up everybody? This is eFenix and first off, this is Left 4 Dead in the background. I just kind of picked some random video I had to put on here as a, as a backdrop to what I'm saying about Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 today. So, you know, just hope you enjoy it. It's just random footage of me and a friend of mine playing together. Anyway, the first thing I guess I want to look at... Oh, first let me say, this is all kind of my opinion stuff. It's not cold hard facts, it's just things that a little bit of speculation on my part, just kind of me looking at what I've heard about the game, what I've seen about the games, and what I know about them, to, uh, and letting you know, you know, kind of what I think on it. So keep that in mind. First off, let's look at Battlefield 3. This is the one that I think is going to be the most different and the most unique. Um, so I'm probably spend most of my time on this, just because I think most of the people have less understanding of what the game is going to really be like comparatively to Call of Duty. Because pretty much everyone has played Call of Duty. So first off. I think Battlefield 3 in a lot of ways is a PC, it's more oriented to PC gaming than it is to uh, Xbox and console gaming. The only reason I say that is because it has a really large maps, it has a really large, you know, um, a lot of player counts at 64 players on PC and 32 on, on uh, console. And it's also just a slower frame rate things that. It seems a little more PC oriented to me than does something like Call of Duty. So that being said, um, the main thing that has me a little concerned about Battlefield 3 is the 32 person, uh, 32 people games in on the console. The reason that why that kind of makes me a little nervous is one because I see after the first uh, well after the first couple of weeks and Marvel for 3 comes out, everyone buys that. You're suddenly going to see. A decline in numbers playing, and especially after probably a couple of months, and so you're going to see the game decline in numbers. I'd say probably fairly sharply, maybe not massively, but it, it's going to be a, a decent decline, especially with Modern Warfare 3 coming out right on CS. So that being said, I think when you that happens, what you're going to see is suddenly those 32 people that are supposed to be in a map, the maps that are designed for 32 people, you're going to have 15, 20 people in the lobby. Well, suddenly the maps aren't going to be nearly as full, it's going to be harder to find somebody, the games are going to be even more slow paced than they are because of the big maps and 30 frames per second. Um, and I think that's just going to, that's going to slow down gameplay and, and to be honest, I think it's going to make gameplay a little less fun. And I think it's going to, I don't want to say it's like going to kill Battlefield 3, but I think it's going to be a problem. And I'm not sure how people will, will deal with that and if they'll stick around for half full lobbies. Now that's not necessarily definitely going to happen. It could very easily not happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. Um, and it might not happen for a few months after it comes out. I don't know. But, you know, we shall see. It'll be interesting to see that. Um, well, next, also, the large maps and the 30 frames per second kind of worry me a little bit as well, just because I think that slows the games down a lot, um, which just means it's less action packed, which maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe. You know, it means it's a more cerebral, more uh, strategy-based uh, first-person shooter, which maybe is a good thing. I don't know. But uh, it kind of worries me in seeing how all that works. I guess next it worries me. I think a lot of the Call of Duty community is going to come over. And a lot of the community, the Call of Duty community, is a bunch of asshats. And, you know, they're the guys that sit in the corners with ghosts, that are using Women Army YouTube and Modern Warfare 2, that, are, that find every way to exploit a game and just be douchebags. I think you can get a lot of that community into Battlefield 3, and people that said, oh, Call of Duty sucks is for the same, for whatever reason, it's not going to be saying the same things about Battlefield 3. Just because that's the way the community works, the community is changing to, I think, a more young community members than what it once was. So, you know, that being said, that could be problematic and, you know, cut down the enjoyability of the game. Uh, I suppose next, what kind of worries me is the vehicle combat I've always not particularly liked vehicle combat in first person shooters whether it's been Halo like Blood Gulch was my least favorite map because I hated like oh you're just gonna jump in a tank and I'm screwed awesome because it's always on those maps whoever gets in the tank is a big boy that's gonna kick some butt or jets or helicopters this time around and I think that's gonna that's gonna just really suck and I think it could create uh, balance issues with the games with the game um, that could really really hurt the game quite a bit and maybe they'll patch it do better on it but I don't know I'll see 
I don't know what I'll say besides that. I'll see and see how it works. It may be amazing and be perfectly balanced, but that's just one thing I'm a little worried on as far as Battlefield 3 goes. That's really all I have to say about Battlefield 3. Um, but let's let's go into Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, I don't have as many worries about it because I kind of know what it is. You know, I, I've played Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. And playing those games, you see that there's not really, it's slow progress. It's a conservative progress in the games. You get slow little changes, little by game by game by game. Almost like a massive patch of new maps per game. And some new guns. I think it's going to be fairly similar to that uh, with uh, Marvel for 3, which inher inherently is kind of a bad thing. It it's good that you know what you're going to get. You know, I think if you play Black Ops, you play Call of Duty, mix the two together, and you're going to get something that looks like Modern Warfare 3. That being said, you know, it's not going to be that innovative. It's not going to be that unique and different. They don't have, you know, anything that, that really sets it apart from Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2. And I think that, that kind of hurts the game in my eyes anyway, in that it's not going to be very revolutionary. It's not going to be that unique. And so that, you know, puts into the question, like, well, is it really worth buying if you're just basically buying the same game over again? Really the only thing that seems distinctly new and interesting is the Call of Duty Elite system, which does seem pretty cool. It seems interesting. It seems like it could be fun um, with the new stats. There's like tournaments and you can get groupings together. Um, it's kind of like almost social networking um, or Call of Duty networking type of thing where it kind of could bring the community together. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I think, it, I think it'll probably work decent and, and be a pretty cool addition to the game. I think that's the thing that, that most makes Call of Duty uh, this time around something maybe worth looking into and worth buying. Um, other than that, you know, again, some of the perks um, look a little problematic. I think people are still worried about noob tubes being in it. I don't think it's going to be a, a noob tube issue like Modern Warfare 2 was. Um, you know, it'll be more like Black Ops where they're used, but they're not really a, a staple of people's gameplay. People don't really use them often. Um, you know, very you know. Most I, I very rarely get killed with new tunes, and I think the same thing it's going to be with Modern Warfare 3. So that's not really a worry, even though it has them in there. You know, I just up to now I don't really have anything that I'm too worried about with Modern Warfare 3. Again, just because I know what I'm getting. I think everybody knows what they're getting with it. And, and so, if anything, if you're going to buy a game, probably the safe bet is Modern Warfare 3, especially if you like Call of Duty. I think maybe the thing that has the most uh, upside would be Battlefield 3. You know, Battlefield 3 could do some amazing things and be absolutely fantastic. It could also flop and be not fit the community in which it, it's geared to. Because there's a lot of hype towards it. There's a lot of advertisement and marketing. And sometimes, you know, they shouldn't spend the $100 million which they're spending on marketing. Maybe they should spend a little more time by putting into the game. Who knows? But uh, we shall see. And I think it'll be interesting to see which one comes out as a better game. I think Modern Warfare 3 is still going to sell more. But it'll be interesting to see which is a better game and which you know lives long, which has a longer shelf life. I don't know. I'm not even going to make a guess. It'll be interesting to find out, though. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.